Hi, I'm Megan Corbett, filling in for Mike Maloof on sports. In Babe Ruth news, the top two teams of the regular season, the Rangers and the Dodgers, faced off each other in the town championship. In game one, Michael Big Train Curran silenced the Dodgers' bats on way to get to an 11-0 Ranger victory. In game two, the Dodgers bounced back to a 7-4 victory behind the strong pitching of Thomas Benson, who struck out nine. The championship game pitted two of the top pitchers, Michael Curran for the Rangers and Sam Gosner for the Dodgers against one another. The Dodgers wasted no time when Thomas Benson ripped the first pitch down the right field line for a stand-up triple. Sam Gosner followed with a double to left center to score Benson, but that was all the Dodgers would get. The Rangers bounced back when Frankie Hernan singled and stole second and third. Sean Moynihan laced a single up the middle to score Hernan and tie the game. As the game went on, the Dodgers scratched out a couple of runs with key hits from Benson, Gosner, and Finn Kenny. Meanwhile, Gosner was a complete control of the mound for the Dodgers. In the top of the seventh, the Dodgers were hoping to get an insurance run to pad their 3-1 lead. They had James Collins on second and Finn Kenny on third with two outs. The fleet-footed Kenny got a great jump and stole home, just avoiding the tag of catcher Jamie Crispy to give the Dodgers a 4-1 lead. Gosner continued to dominate by striking out the side in the bottom of the seventh to seal the win in town championship for the Dodgers. For the Rangers, Eddie Carroll, Mike McDonough, and Jordan Freestone played stellar defense. And for the Dodgers, it was Kevin Hultgren, Jimmy White, Shoes Collins, and Eamon Murphy face flashing the leather. Norwood legend and Norwood Babe Ruth president Lighty presented the Dodgers players with the championship trophy. State tournament summer ball is underway and the 13-year-olds are managed by Joe Jacobs and coaches are Bobby Griffin and Matt Gianetti. The 14s are managed by George Holly and coached by John Lighty. Kevin Igo and Pat Kavanaugh are the 15s, are managed by A.J. Grant, coached by Chris Nutting and Jason Fody. The teams are playing in a round-robin tournament and will be providing updates. The Norwood Legion Post 70 team has a tough stretch lately and is currently 3-5-1. They have a short season, but there are plenty of games left for manager Paul Smudge Dellis and his team to finish strong. The Nord Challenger League was formed in 1993 as a way for the Nord children with special needs to participate in baseball. Almost 30 years later, the league held an alumni game for the past players. Challenger League volunteer Bob Smith gives a little league history of the Challenger program and was happy to see some familiar faces at Kelly Field. At, at that time, the Norwood Little League Board of Directors thought that, uh, that there was a group of children in the, in the community who couldn't play typ typical Little League. And they had the foresight to see that uh, they should start a program. And uh, they, in 93, they started the program. And here we are 30 years later. We probably had, I bet, three, three 400 people go through the program in those 30 years. Um, and we've had a wonderful group of kids who used to coach from, from Norwood High School. Um, we have parents coaching, we have volunteers coaching. It's been a great program and we've got the support from the town for all these years. It's been great. There's a lot of kids here that we haven't seen probably in at least maybe five, six, ten years, some of them. And they looked like they had a good time today playing baseball. It's all about playing, having fun, friendship, and uh, getting a little exercise, learning a little bit about baseball and a lot of fun. I'm Ryan Finn. I'm from Canton and I like playing baseball. My name is Nicholas Cowman. Nicholas Callan, and from what town? I live in uh, Foxborough. Okay, and what's, uh, what position do you play? I play all the positions. Yes, uh, my name is uh, Tommy Sheehan. And what town are you from, Tommy? Oh yes, oh yes, I'm from the uh, town of uh, Mansfield. Mansfield, where are you living now? Uh, I still live in Mansfield. Okay, and what's your position, Tom? Uh, I usually, uh, my, uh, uh, my like, uh, business back in the day when I like, uh, used to play was third base. Tell me your name. I'm Nick Powers. Where are you from, Nick? Norwood. And uh, what's your position? First base. You married? No. Okay, you working on it? I'm working on it. I'm Katie. I'm Katie. Katie what? Ryan. Katie Ryan, from what town? Norwood. Norwood, Mass. And what's your favorite position? Um, second. All right, what's your name? Shirley. Shirley what? Oh, Shirley Bissett. Shirley Bissett, from what town, Shirley? Norwood. Norwood, Mass. What position do you play? All over. All over? Yeah. What's your favorite position, second. Shirley? Nice and loud, so we can all hear you. Janine, what? Janine Dolner. Janine Dolner. And where are you from, Janine? 
Well, with Massachusetts, and um, what's your favorite position? Catcher. Would you say catcher? Yeah. Okay. I'm Faye Jones. Faye Jones. From what town, Faye? From Norwood. In what position? Um, I think right field. Right field? Yeah. Okay, and do you like the bat? Yes. What's your name? Jen Price. And where are you from, Jen? Norwood. All right. In what position do you play? Uh, right field. And my 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 car thing is superstar here. Yeah. Uh, uh, superstar? Did you say you're a superstar? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Thirty-five years old. Thirty-five. What time? Uh, uh, Fox, uh, Foxborough, New Mass. Foxborough, Mass. Yeah. Okay. And what what's your uh, position? Uh, the the bay. Greg Kaling. Look in the camera, though. Greg Kaling. Where are you from, Greg? I'm from Nolan. All right. How long have you been playing baseball, Greg? Since I was a kid. Since you were a kid. How old are you now? 36. Patrick Reardon. All right. And where are you from, Pat? Nolan Mass. All right. And what's your position, Pat? Uh, uh, first base. NCM has covered many Challenger events over the years, and it's great to see some of these athletes back on the field. That's it for sports. Back to you, Ryan.